NASH and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in general has become a very important public health problem in the U.S. We anticipate that in the next 10 years, this will be the most common indication for liver transplantation in the U.S. There's also a concern that NASH is associated with a higher risk of liver cancer. And because there is no FDA-approved medication at this point, managing, diagnosing, and treating these patients is a very challenging problem. One problem is that there is no FDA-approved medication for this condition. And so we have to evaluate these patients in a holistic approach and look at this problem in several different ways. If the patients are obese or if they have dietary or lifestyle issues which can be modified, that should always be the first step. For those patients who have a lot of inflammation on their liver biopsies, for those patients who have scarring and are likely to progress to cirrhosis, we can sometimes use vitamin E or other medications such as pioglitazone. For selected patients, we can refer them for bariatric surgery, and for patients who have advanced liver disease or cirrhosis, liver transplantation is an option. The NASH Clinic at U UPMC has tried many different innovative and multidisciplinary approaches to manage these very challenging problems. One thing that we've tried to do is bring in a lot of different specialists who are required for the treatment of these patients. So rather than having the patients try to find treatment on their own through a lot of different specialists, we've tried to bring them all together. For example, in addition to liver specialists, we have endocrinologists with special interest in NASH and fatty liver disease. We have bariatric surgeons. We have transplant surgeons for those patients who have advanced liver disease and cirrhosis. And we have sleep specialists looking at patients who have obstructive sleep apnea along with NASH. So by bringing this holistic team-based approach, the patient gets care very early in a very systematic man manner. Physicians need to understand that NASH will become more and more common as our population ages, as more of our patients are found to have obesity and diabetes in the future. And therefore, it's important to have a very high index of suspicion when physicians are seeing patients in their clinics who may have obesity or diabetes or other risk factors because of its very subtle presentation, because these patients should be diagnosed early and they should be referred for management early. Thank you.